Hey everyone, today I did a bunch more log splitting. I'm trying to get ahead of myself a few weeks while doing it. I'm going to show you guys a whole bunch of longhorn Asian beetles and what they look like inside the tree and look, look what they do. See this? They make these tunnels inside the trees. Most of these gaps actually had the larvae in them. Looks like a giant maggot. I'm going to try to burn these as fast as possible because I know there's more in this wood in places I didn't split. But they're in hibernation because it's cold out. Even if they happen to wake up when I throw this stuff into the basement to be burned, it's a grub. I don't think it's really going to go far. I think it'll probably be noticed. I don't even think they can crawl very well. My cart here is starting to break. Next time I go to Home Depot, I'm going to buy some angle iron. Which is, it's just a 90 degree angle, pretty strong. Zip a bunch of sheet metal screws to sure that up. And I'll probably do it to the side walls just for the heck of it because they're about to fall apart. Also the bolt and the steering I need to tighten up once I'm done. So these logs right here are the ones infested with the longhorn beetles. Everything here I just split is aspen wood, which smells really strong like lemons for some reason. I'm not sure why been burning aspen a lot lately because I finally got to the pile which is all aspen it was a big tree I cut down near the house and I'm glad I did because it had a lot of uh emerald ash borers in it and these are the longhorn beetles that's what's in these logs so as I'm splitting them I noticed a bunch of worms fell out onto the ground if you look at this right here this blob right here this is the worm's poop. It looks like sawdust. All over the ground around these wood piles is sawdust from them, not the chainsaw. And these guys, this is what they look like. They're in hibernation right now. They're pretty loud in the summer when it's quiet out. Or not even quiet, just in the middle of the day, you can hear chewing inside of the trees. Especially this specific log pile. I think it was a specific tree, that's why, that was severely infested with them. There's another one. Here's a little baby one. Or maybe that's a different type. It looks the same to me, just smaller. I'm not sure if these guys feed multiple years or not. Is that why this one's so tiny? But there's probably dozens more in this pile right here of debris. I see a little one right there. So this is why all the trees around here are dying in New England. It's a variation of these bugs. There's a couple different types doing this damage. These ones actually make tunnels through the entire tree, while the emerald ash borer only goes underneath the bark. It may be called the ash borer, but it will go after basically any tree. They have favorites, which is obviously ash, but they love these fir trees a lot. So now that I'm seeing these guys here, once I'm done splitting, I only got like one, two, three, four, five, six more logs. Once I'm done with that, I'm going to scoop all this up into a bucket and incinerate it. I just wanted to show what these guys look like. The sky looks pretty right now. So those bugs I just showed you are the ones I blame for all these dead pine trees I have. See all the bark is falling off? That may be the work of the emerald ash borer, but these guys seem to be in a lot of the trees. One after another trees. See this? They're all recently dead. You look over here, this one is probably gonna die this year. I can almost guarantee it'll die this year. This one right here, the broken top might be a result of them just about dead. That one just died over the winter. All the trees right here are thin. I honestly, I think honestly, as far as my fir trees on the property, 90% of them look sick and are going to die as a result of these. Now, 
The trees that have a diameter of less than four inches all seem to be perfect. These bugs are only targeting big mature trees for some reason. I hope today's video was interesting. Thanks for watching.